Hi, I'm Alex Ronsley, and this is a Broadcaster Hub video demonstration, this time using Microsoft Excel and a formula called VLOOKUP, which is essentially a search engine inside Microsoft Excel that can pull a certain result uh, based on any kind of given numbers uh, within uh, a table that you select. And it's very, very useful in terms of uh, finding information and displaying it correctly. Here's an example here of, of some of my sheets. This uh, number 18.61 uh, isn't typed there. You see the VLOOKUP up formula up the top here it's essentially a search engine so it's looking for the term couch and valley capitals which is the last team uh, that i called a broadcast against in the regular season for 2012-2013 uh, uh, so it's looking for the term couch and valley capitals it's searching in a particular area and it's looking for a particular column number we'll explain everything in a second but what it does is it goes and it looks inside that area and it tries to find the term couch and valley capitals and once it does it looks in this area here couch and valley capitals and and there is the 18.61. So, if that's a little confusing, stick with us and we will break it down. For this demonstration, we're using the exact same st uh, stats that we pulled uh, during our other video demonstration, which used the web query feature and the data tab and getting the external data from the internet. Uh, this data can self-refresh, although this VLOOKUP technique will work with any bit of information you have in Excel. If it's in a cell, it'll be able to find it, and this VLOOKUP search engine type feature will have no troubles. Now, for this demonstration, we are going to use uh, number 21, Trevor Cameron, as our little guinea pig here. And we're going to say that uh, uh, Trevor had a pretty good playoffs and uh, these stats a little bit off. So we'll just refresh those quickly and make sure we get our correct information. Uh, Trevor Cameron, pretty good playoffs, nine points in 17 games, six of them goals. Uh, but say we want to try and uh, pull this information, and this is the raw information. Say we want to pull this data and have it stay with us. Uh, in another sheet. And I mean, we could say, okay, we want that cell to equal that cell. Uh, but since this table is sorted by points, if Trevor has a three-point night, maybe this cell isn't related to Trevor Cameron uh, anymore. So that's the reason and the uh, the place for the VLOOKUP formula. Now you can type the formula out, although uh, the wizard is much easier uh, to use. So we're going to go up here to the top button, the FX button, and we'll select it. And you search up the top in the search bar, uh, and you can hit go. I use it frequently, so it's in that little box there. Uh, but VLOOKUP is the one that we are using, and you can hit OK. And it brings you up this little window. Now, the lookup value is really crucial for two reasons. One, it has to be unique, and it has to be in the first column of your table array. Your table array is the area that it's searching. It's it's the all the columns versus all the rows that you want to search, or you want the VLOOKUP formula to search search. Uh, so the lookup value has to be in the first column of that. Now the one thing that is unique to players on the sporting field is their jersey number. There's no one else on the team that has the same number that they do if they're a full-time roster player. So that's the jersey number. That's the uh, number that we are going to use and the value that we are going to use in this V lookup tutorial. So Trevor Cameron wears number 21 for the Surrey Eagles. We will go ahead and use that. The table array is the area that you're wanting to search. Now we could have gone with the name for the lookup value, and the reason we didn't is because of spelling mistakes. Uh, it's because of formatting. It could be last name, first name on some websites. Uh, the number is just the one consistent thing uh, that seems to work time after time after time. Everything else can change or can be misspelled or can be a mistake uh, somewhere, but the number is consistent. So the table array, we want to make sure that the value of 21 is in our first column. This time it's nice and easy. We're going to select our first column as A, and select all the stats for the 2013 Surrey Eagles. So you have A2 to M21. You see the uh, little jiggered, uh, the dotted line, I should say, uh, going around the outside of the table. Now, a column index number is the column that we want to pull the data, uh, the, the number from. Uh, how many over from the left do we want to pull the information from? So let's say we want to pull Trevor's goals, which is six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's column six from the left. That is the number that we enter in there. The last one is a range lookup. It's technically optional, but for this case, it is mandatory. You want to make sure you put a zero in there. That will ensure that you don't get any uh, carryover or, or any mistakes when finding this information. If you leave it blank or put a one in there, uh, it uh, can more often than not retrieve false information. So we'll put a zero in there and you find that result is six. We find the result is six. Trevor scored six goals during the playoffs. If I were to change this, let's say Trevor were to have uh, a nice hat trick in his next game, get his goals up to nine. If I were to change that there or the data were to change for me, 
it changes there as well. A great thing about this VLOOKUP formula, I mentioned that the numbers are unique. Let's say Trevor wasn't 21. Let's say Trevor wore 22. You can see we change his number to 22, and the formula, uh, not finding a 21, goes to a mistake. Let's say for this example, we change Adam Tambellini to number 21. All of a sudden, it's able to pull his goal. So it's finding the number 21 because that is our search term, and it is going through the table, finding column number 6 that is in line with number 21, and it is pulling the result for us. So this is a great result or a great way to uh, sift through information and find specific points of information and be able to change it easy. It really is a search engine. Let me show you how I use it on one of my sheets here. So we showed you at the beginning of the video the uh, this page here. And this basically shows uh, the power play and penalty kill uh, statistics for both teams, both the Kings and our opposition on any given night. I mentioned off the top of the video that the last opposition that we faced were the Cowich and Valley Capitals in the regular season. And you can see all the way along here, it's referencing the Cowich and Valley Capitals up the top. So if I wanted to change that, let's say we were playing the Surrey Eagles next. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of those cells. You can do it one at a time. Uh, I'm just going to do it here to highlight. Uh, and, and to do this quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and change the search term. And that's really all we did on that demonstration earlier on, changing it from 21 to 9, uh, finding different rows to find different bits of information. So I'm going to change it to the Surrey Eagles. And basically all of this is doing now is I'm telling it, don't find couch anymore. Find the term Surrey Eagles in this span, which is another sheet in this same document, and pull column number two for me. And we'll go take a look at that in just a second. I'm going to hit enter and you will see all of the information uh, go through and change. In fact, I did it wrong. So we'll go to replace. We'll find Cowich and Valley Capital. So I just changed that one cell. Uh, but if we go here and we find Surrey Eagles, and we make sure that we spell everything correctly because that is crucial. So Cowich and Valley Capitals, Surrey Eagles, we replace all. It's going to say it made six replacements, and you can see that all the numbers have changed. And all the numbers, if you see up the top, reflect the Surrey Eagles. So this uh, search engine type feature, this VLOOKUP, is searching for the term Surrey Eagles in special teams B4 to K19 and column 10. So let's go to special teams. We're going to go to B4 to K19. So it's this area here and it's looking for column 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the rank. So it's finding the Surrey Eagles, which is on uh, row 15. The rank there is 12th, and if we go back to our first sheet, that cell should say 12th, and it does. So it's a search engine that can make things very, very easy when pulling specific bits of information uh, from a, a table of information. And right back here, if we didn't want to focus on Trevor, or in this case, Adam anymore, and we wanted to focus on a different player, let's say Brady Shaw, we can do that again by changing the search terms. If you have any comments, tips, or suggestions about this video demonstration, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. My name's Alex Ronsley, and this has been a Broadcaster Hub video demonstration.